hey guys good morning this whole like last week i feel like has been a blur oh put that back for mommy please Ooh, she's grabbing the, the things i've been using for my ears for snoring anyway for on the dress like to drown them out and they're kind of waxy put it back okay Girls. <laughs> kids have like they don't care anyway this, I feel like this week has been very Bobby, just like be all a, over the place. Yeah. And be I haven't. A Macy. Be a Macy? Yeah. I haven't been able. I haven't really been like in the vlogging mood. I've been really concentrated on school. But guess what? I made a B in the class. Woo! I made an 80 on my test. 80. I like don't even know how that was possible. I was so not confident. I was not confident at all. And um, I did it. I did it. I made an 83.7 in the class. I'm very, very happy. It was definitely a lot of hard work and determination, but I persevered through and it feels so good. Very excited. You are? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was a really difficult summer. I definitely didn't get to do fun things. You're not in the frame. You just have a shirt on. I definitely didn't get to do a whole lot of fun things. I tried to make the most of it, but I did it. I made a B. I'm super, super proud of myself. Um, and that's coming a long way because when I was in high school and in getting my finance degree, I had a 4.0. So like going into nursing school completely changed my outlook on <laughs> what you need to pass and to be successful because it's just I the people that make A's regularly in these classes I just can't even imagine like I'm busting my butt and still not able to make well and I had a 4.0 up until this class this is the first class I got to be in but it's like I'm happy because I worked so hard I couldn't even imagine working any harder to try and get an A so I'm very very proud of myself very proud of myself so anyway today we are going to church so I'm getting ready a little bit I will link the dress down below it's from Target I don't know if this one is maternity I think it may be yeah it's the maternity line so I'll link it down below I know the floral one that I posted this last time that I was wearing it you guys liked a lot um, and that's a super cute maternity dress for summer but I feel like this one is easy easily transitionable into fall you could wear it with some <clears throat> booties a little bit higher um, or some knee-high socks with some boots and I feel like it would transition with a cardigan very nicely the other one is definitely more spring um, it has kind of this like stretchy panel up at the bust and then um, like an a-line is it an umpire waist goes underneath your bust and then it flares out super cute it's just a navy blue I'm wearing this jewelry from Brighton I think my bow which I need recommendations for more of these bows I found some on Amazon if you guys have a good another good Etsy seller um, or so, uh, like somebody on Amazon that sells a lot of them in large quantity <laughs> it doesn't matter if they're velvet or, or not I have some in my cart right now that definitely let me know because I love them and this is the only one that I have I wanted to touch on some makeup that I was using while I was in California that I was loving. This in particular, I never followed up on it. It's the It CC Cream, the mattifying. It has SPF 40. Hey, I have it in the color light medium. Hi, baby. Hi. Yes. What are you doing? I'm putting on some makeup. Uh. I really, really like this. I feel like it's a great color match for me right now. No, you and can't see the camera. You can't see the camera? No. Look right here. Camera can see you. Look. Um, it's a good color match for me and I really like the fact that it keeps me matte and I was also loving this highlighter this is the revolution shimmer back radiant and what color is it oh it's just a shimmer brick radiant I think the other ones were called different like a different color brick it's super beautiful shimmer shine I was kind of mixing all the colors together to as a topper for my um, bronzer and then using the lightest two colors for highlight. I really enjoyed those two things. The rest of the stuff I liked, but it's just my basic everyday stuff. These two things were kind of new to me and I wanted to try them out. So 
when I was couponing, I have a whole bunch of brand new makeup that I haven't used. So I'm gonna try a bunch of it today to see what I think. I'm trying the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation. I have it in the color L50 Fair Beige. I think it's gonna be a little light. Ooh, what do you have? Um, Daddy gave me one. What did Daddy give you? Um, Lotion? You got some lotion? Yes. No, no, mommy needs that to put on your makeup. Yeah. So it may be a little light for me right now, but I'm gonna try it. And then I'm gonna try a new like face, kind of all routine, the butter bronzer. I've tried this before and I really like it. You're gonna take her to eat? Baby, you're gonna take her to eat? Yes. Okay. Um, this is the light butter bronzer. So I'm gonna wear this. I've tried it before, but like I said, I haven't actually opened it and owned it. I have an Almay blush. It's a smart shade in 20 nude mauve. So I'm gonna try that. And then I have the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Palette in, I guess it's just Super Stunner. It's lit. And it's a very, I know the lighting is really bad in here because it's super bright. It's like a pinkish uh, mauve and a gold shimmer highlight. I'm gonna try that. For my eyes, I'm gonna do the Revlon Color Stay Cream Eyeshadow in uh, Chocolate, 720 Chocolate. So it's just like a chocolatey color. And over top, I'm gonna to try the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Ice Latte. I just do a basic look. And then for my lips, I'm gonna try the Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Cream in Barely Blush. If I can find this stuff online, I'll link it down below. It's like a whole new makeup routine, more than what I'm used to at least. And then I'll stick with my tried and true Lash favorites, which is the Revlon Ultimate All-in-One. This one is in black is black. I think it's waterproof I have a really hard time getting this one off. I love this one with the red top It has a little tiny baby wand and then the uh, Maybelline Big Colossal. I Like these two paired together. I think that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup I'll show you when I'm done. I'm not gonna go super super heavy, but just enough to feel a little more put together. That always makes me feel better. Okay, we're at church. All the kids are getting out of the car on the dress is over there getting them, but I wanted to share with you guys really quickly um, some of my favorites. So I really like the lip gloss, super comforting. I love the blush and the bronzer. Everything else is just like, so far I'll have to tell you a little later about the foundation, but everything else I love. Okay, we are home. It is almost 2 p.m. We're having a late lunch, some PB&Js and leftovers because that's what sounds good. I have some meat in the fridge, so tonight I'm gonna do meatloaf. I have leftover green beans from last night, which I got lots of compliments on. It was literally a bag of frozen green beans, an entire bag, um, like maybe half a cup of chopped bacon bits from Costco, and some butter, salt and pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. Everyone loved them, so that was pretty good. But because I made an entire bag full, I have a lot left over so and I have a thing of rusted potatoes in the pantry so I'm gonna make meatloaf mashed potatoes and we're gonna have the leftover green beans for dinner tonight and I have Parmesan that we're gonna do eggplant Parmesan this week for dinner and then I have chicken and drumsticks in the fridge that we're gonna do some sort of chicken dish with not sure but I have I planned ahead I have dinner ready for this week I feel pretty good so lunch today is just super quick because we got not out late, but we were like mingling afterwards. It was a nice, very nice sermon. I thoroughly enjoyed it today. So, anywho, the kiddos are gonna have lunch and then they're gonna go down for quiet time. Um, update on my makeup so far. I love everything. The lip gloss is super pretty. I like the formula of it. I like the color that it gives. It's very natural. Um, so I wanna try some more of those. And so far, so good on the foundation. I have on the highlighter, which is really beautiful. And I am naturally a very oily person, so I didn't anticipate it keeping me super not shiny all day, so we'll see how it goes the rest of the day. I can't wait to have just a little bit of a rest today. Yesterday was a very long day for me from start to finish. I didn't go to bed till 2.15 last night, and I was up at like eight o'clock. So I didn't get a whole lot of sleep. I'm tired, I'm ready just to kind of relax for the rest of the day. Andres had to go to work, um, so I can't wait to just lay down on the couch, catch up on some shows, especially now that I know I made a B in my class. Yes. It's been a long afternoon. <laughs> look at my makeup, look at how shiny I am. Ugh, it's bad. 
bad 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 so this probably this foundation um from covergirl would probably need a really heavy duty setting powder because i've been shiny most of the day granted i have had it on about 10 hours like maybe 11 hours but still i've been shiny a good portion of the day so anyway it was a long afternoon of nothing we came home from church i gave them lunch and they all went down for quiet time until 5 p.m five they were exhausted. I was exhausted. 5 p.m. <clears throat> so, uh, for dinner, I didn't end up making meatloaf because I was super tired. My mom is a saint and brought over Bill Miller chicken last night to feed all of us. And bless her because that it's a pretty penny to feed all of us. She brought it for herself, for Melissa Chibi and Anderson, and then the five of us. And so I had a couple pieces of chicken left over from that. I had made green beans last night. I put them away. I had a, I had a container of that. I heated up one of the, let me see if I have the container. I should have showed you guys, but I was like kind of in a rush for dinner because dinner was a little late today. But this mashed cauliflower, the green giant, the cheddar and bacon is my favorite. It's so good. The girls aren't huge fans of it, but they mixed corn with it and they actually ate it this time. I don't know if it's because they really just don't think it tastes like potatoes. To me, it tastes really good. I love the flavor of it. They're not huge fans, but they all ate it today, so it's a win. So I heated up that container. I heated up some corn, just like some frozen corn. Heated up the green beans. I heated up the chicken. I split the chicken, the two pieces between the three girls, and I had a KFC bowl, so it was like the mashed cauliflower some green beans and some corn and mix it all together and that's what we had for dinner and it was delicious. Delicious. I had seconds, it was so good. So it was nothing but vegetables, but it was really, really good. And then like I said, the girls had the chicken with it. So it's kind of late now, it's 8.20, which is a lot later than I've been having them get ready for bed. Autumn's still finishing up. Well, she's done now. She's just kind of picking at it, but um, a little later than we usually eat dinner so finished up some leftovers in the fridge which was pretty good and um, finished up some frozen vegetables that we had but was definitely not the um, meatloaf meal that I was planning so Emmy's upstairs getting ready for bed she's taking a shower Maddie's about to do a treatment mm -hmm. this little one did you eat your nail polish oh, why oh mama you ate a lot of nail polish what happened it fell off? Yes. Why? Where'd it go? The girls painted their nails and toes. <laughs> and Anderson's nails. And Anderson painted Autumn's toes. It was really cute. And this is what happened. Mm -hmm. What happened? Let me see. There's the green. Are you eating it? No. No? No. And I'm so full. Look at my belly right now. It is like very hard and distended <laughs> it looks like i'm seven months pregnant even though i'm only five and a half <laughs> so sad like my stomach this time is huge huge i feel y'all done we need to clean up i feel literally like like i said like i look seven months pregnant this is insane insane and it's not even like fat or extra skin or anything it's literally hard hard I'm like, what the heck? I'm gonna have a ginormous baby. Oh, that's in your belly. Yeah, my your baby sister's in my belly. Yeah, she'll be in my bed. Mm-hmm. I need a baby. I don't love you, Mom. Be in bed. I don't love you. Everyone's in bed. It was like, I felt like a very long day today, but it was nice to just have it to just be here and not have to worry about studying or you know doing anything like that it felt really good so everyone's in bed it is 9 40 i am going to turn on the tv and watch as many shows as i want to watch i came downstairs to pee on the floor yes if you follow me on instagram if you don't it's hkd 1122 but if you follow me on instagram i already posted about this but i came downstairs to pee clean that up fairly certain it was bella i don't really know what cat pee looks like 
but I don't think it looks like that. I think it looks a little different and it was like a stream of water. I actually thought, I, I heard when I was upstairs, Lola sounded like she knocked down a cup, but she knocked down one of the cups on the table and it was empty. So I'm fairly certain it wasn't water. That's what I thought it was at first. So Clorox that baby, wash my hands really good. And now I'm watching, I'm going to watch some shows and relax. I have some grapes that I plan on having for snack and just enjoy the day. Tomorrow, I had an appointment, um, an OB appointment, but Andres can't go, and Andres is very, very, very adamant that he wants to make every single one of them. He, his mentality is, is I've never missed one <laughs> with either of the other girls, um, so he doesn't wanna miss an OB appointment. He tries really hard to make all other appointments if he can, checkups and things, but he doesn't always make it to those, but as far as like the girls go, with their regular stuff, but um, he does try really hard to make it to the OB things. So I'm grateful to have such a wonderful man by my side and I'm going to reschedule it because I'm actually, I think I talked about this the last time we were there, um, my OB's office started not allowing children in and she gracefully, because I work with her, let me bring my girls in but i don't want to make anybody else mad and so I, i'm going to try and reschedule my appointment for when they go to school so it'll be so much easier i don't have to worry about anybody watching them and um so i'm gonna try and push it back so i think i'll be 22 weeks on wednesday so if i push it back to when they're all in school i may actually be doing my glucose tolerance test we'll see i don't know or i may have a checkup and then have to schedule another, I was gonna say meeting, another appointment in between my next four week appointment to do my GTT. So we'll see, I don't know. I always, with both of my other pregnancies, I had to do the one hour, failed it, and come back and do the three hour and then passed it. So I'm anticipating having to do that again this time. I wouldn't, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I don't have, I'm not GDM and I don't have any gestational diabetes I'm hoping that's the case but the other day at work I did I have been getting kind of jittery and the other day at work I had a dizzy spell so like dizzy to where I was like diaphoretic I felt like I was gonna pass out my blood I could feel my blood pressure dropping I went pale like that kind of stuff so one of two things was happening either I'm having blood pressure issues or diabetes so I'm hoping it is neither, and it was just a little fluke. I had breakfast, I've been trying to take better care of myself this time around. I do feel bloated, just like in general, I feel like my face, even though I haven't gained that much weight, like I immediately ballooned up in my face. And of course my belly is huge. So I don't know, here's hoping and praying that everything is okay, and I'm doing okay, I really wanted to get my checkup tomorrow, but I really, my honey, I, my honey Benny really wants to be there, so I'm gonna reschedule it. But I've been feeling her move like crazy here the last couple weeks. I started feeling her move between 16 and 17 weeks, which is kind of where I felt autumn moving. I didn't feel Maddie move until like 24 weeks. And I think it was more because it was the first time mom, or for, it was my first pregnancy, I had no idea what I was, what to expect. And everything was brand new. So I started feeling like little lightning zings this pregnancy like 15 weeks but actual like little kicks and movement at 16 17 weeks and so recently i'm almost 22 weeks i've been feeling quite a bit of movement pretty frequently and so i feel confident that she's doing okay in there at least i hope i'm just hoping that i'm not doing any harm to myself this time around like i said i'm trying to take better care of myself i have indulged here and there but i am trying really hard much harder than i tried with my other two pregnancies so we'll see i don't know but i'm gonna have to reschedule that so tomorrow i have nothing to do i have to put in my new schedule but that's on the computer lola's running around having a cow over there uh but that's it i ordered the girls backpacks today one more thing checked off my list feeling good about that I need to get their sweaters embroidered. That was something I didn't do last year, but I need to find a place that embroiders them. No clue where to go. So I need to do that. <clears throat> and I have a couple more school supplies that I need to buy. I placed another Walmart grocery pickup order for 
Saturday, but Saturday I didn't vlog a whole lot at all because like I said, I th or I may have vlogged a little later in the evening. It was such a stressful day between having to take my test and just like the whole thing that, I think I did vlog, I vlogged them skating. That it was just super stressful for me, so I didn't, I don't think I should, no, I didn't show the Walmart order. So I ordered toilet paper and um, some school supplies on the Walmart grocery pickup. <laughs> it's awesome. They didn't have everything I was looking for, but they did have some stuff. So I placed the order for that. I have it sitting in my um, closet. I ended up ordering the educates for the girls. Um, so it has like everything that they're needing because they have some crazy stuff like music composition books and art sketch books and some sort of note cards I've never heard of like they have a bunch of stuff that you can't just pick up at Walmart or HEB you have to order it online um, there's a certain kind of notepad that they had to have that I like literally never heard of before so it's totally worth it for me to order their edgy kits we'll get those on meet the teacher night so I'm excited for that they're expensive though they are expensive I mean really but I did buy some backup like glue crowns marker um, pencils, paper, you know, notebooks, things like that, because when they need to replenish those things halfway through the year, the school supplies are so much more expensive than they are right now. Come here. What are you doing? You're knocking stuff over? Did you step in Bella's pee? Hmm? I hope not. So it's so much easier. That's like a huge tip. If you can afford it and you, you know, kind of budget throughout the year because you know back to school is expensive, try and buy your extra supplies now because, you know, for teacher appreciation week, if you're going to send extra supplies or if they send a note home and they're like, hey, your kid needs another bottle of glue or another box of crowns or more pencils or whatever, bless you, then it's so much cheaper to pick them up now and store them than it is to by the mid-year you don't find school glue for 50 cents mid-year it's like a dollar a dollar fifty same thing with the crowns they're two bucks instead of 50 cents you know it's just especially having as many children as I have in school it's just easier for me to have extra supplies here and when they need something I can just pull it from my stash so every year I try and stock up on stuff and then Every year I try and get them some new supplies for the house too. Like if the crowns are all broken, I will send them off to get melted down. I also found out, I don't know if it's Crayola, I saw this on Facebook, they will take old marker containers to reuse them and recycle them instead of them getting thrown in the landfill. I saw that on Facebook, so I need to look into that too. Instead of just tossing markers or stuff. Or I'll put a whole kit together and donate them to the school or donate them to somebody in the neighborhood that has a younger kid that they need you know supplies for or whatever so also I like to be the parent that sends my kids with extra so that the teachers don't have to supply it you know especially if there are some children this school is a little different because I don't know how to say this it's a little, it's a little more privilege than Emmy's old school I know in a lot of like public public school systems and I feel like if you have your kid in a private school or anything you probably can afford to buy their school supplies maybe not always maybe I'm totally wrong but I feel like that's probably the case um, a lot of kids that are in the regular school system can't afford their their parents can't afford their supplies and the teachers end up paying for them and teachers don't I do taxes teachers don't make a whole lot of money they don't for what they do they don't make a whole lot of money let me tell you like you couldn't pay me enough to teach a whole bunch of other people's kids and then to deal with their parents on top of that it wouldn't happen it would not happen like I could have never been a teacher never I mean I guess I am partially an educator being an RN but uh, uh not to a whole bunch of kids where I have to deal with their parents too it's not happening and they don't make a whole lot to do that and then for them to have to come they don't they only get a $250 credit it's not even money back in straight into the return it's a deduction off their tax their taxable income so it's not even that much money on that taxable income they maybe get 25 to $50 back in their refund if they get a refund or less taxes owed so I guess because I've seen it on that side like I always try and be that parent that sends their kid with extra for other kids that can't afford it or for the teacher who 
may need extra, you know, throughout the year. Like I, I will buy you whatever you need. You're, you have my kid all day. Like I, I will get you whatever you need. So I try really hard to be that parent, but don't get me wrong. I mean, we've had times where we've struggled and we've just been fortunate enough to been okay since the girls have started school and we haven't had an issue with school supplies but if I'm ever in that position I would be appreciative of another parent or you know somebody helping out my child so I try and be that parent when I can when I can afford it and buying them for cheaper is definitely better also the Ticonderoga pencils are very expensive at Walmart Costco is the way to get them definitely like the way to get them i think i saw online this like eight dozen for 8.99 which is amazing because for a dozen or i think it was a 20 pack it was like four bucks at walmart so it's definitely a better deal at costco so we're gonna go to costco this next week i'll probably stock up on some of those anyway i've been blabbing for a long time i'm gonna eat my grapes and watch my show and then head to bed so i hope you guys enjoyed today and we'll see you manana